Well, let's talk about April 16th. It's getting closer, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, how are you feeling? It's bittersweet. Um, I think the cast is in one way excited to be a part of the closing cast, but I think also it's, you know, sad that uh, uh, an era of Broadway is ending. Um, and I think we're all still on a daily basis wrapping our heads around that and all the facets that it affects us. Yeah, I mean, I think New York as a whole is going to do that, right? It just, it's, that's just kind of a, a place you go by and it's the it's Phantom. Phantom is there and exactly. that's, that's what you know. Well, first of all, Crawford, beginning and ending with Crawford's. That's kind of interesting. Oh, that's kind of crazy. That's yeah. Kind of yeah. My dad pointed that out to me the day we got our closing notice. I was talking to my dad and he pointed that out. He's like, well, it started with a Crawford and it's going to end with one. And I thought, oh, well, that's that's kind of cool. What do you think? I mean, it's it's been a, an incredible ride. You've been here for a long time. Um, are there any pivotal things that really stand out for you? Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, we just just celebrating the 35th anniversary was was pretty amazing. My daughter just came and saw the show and that was just really, really cool to have her in the audience and be able to see the show. I mean, she's five. She didn't really know what was going on, but she was like, that's daddy. And I saw her like blowing me a kiss after the show. So there's like oh, all those wow. little like daddy moments that yeah. you really just keep in your heart. Yeah. That's incredible. Though. Has she come since? Has she seen it one time so far? She's just seen it once. Okay. And, you know, she actually fell asleep in the final scene. Oh. And then and then <laughs> I was thinking. Okay. Okay, she's yeah. allowed. Yeah, she's absolutely allowed. Yeah, but the the audience applauded on my final note, and she woke up and went, "There's Daddy." So, <laughs> she was into it. Yeah, she was into it enough for me. History on stage as well, with your co-star being the first black actors to play that role. Talk a little bit about that night, because that was really incredible all around, not it, just for here at the, the theater. Absolutely, it was it was pretty amazing. And Emily is a, an amazing ambassador for that moment. She's a phenomenal performer, actress, singer. I expect a lot of great things from her. It, it's fun being. Um, the older guy now uh, at, at, at a show and seeing like young talent come up and just like the next wave of people who are gonna define what Broadway is and being in that moment and is just an honor really to, to be on that stage with her as she as she made history that night but I, I expect great things from Emily and I'm so incredibly proud of her. All right what are you gonna miss the most about coming I mean your life is you know, the Phantom so your life kind of is built around this show right now. Absolutely, yeah. Probably just the experience of, of playing this iconic character. I and mean, it just it all encapsulates kind of into being the masked man. There's things that I'm definitely looking forward to not, you know, having to do because it is so difficult. But, the, you know, when it comes to playing this part, it's just, I'm so fortunate and blessed to be able to do this and then to be able to close the show is a, a pretty incredible honor too. When they say something's going down in history, you're literally going down in history. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing, you know, Phantom, it just, it's permeated pop culture for so sure. long. I mean, I think there's people who, you know, don't typically come to see Broadway shows, but they come see Phantom of the Opera because it does have that presence in pop culture. And so it really is like one of those defining moments of an end of an era in a way. So I'm interested to see how Broadway's affected with it closing sure. and you know what sure. what the next steps are in Broadway with this iconic musical taking its final bow. Can we look around the dressing room? Is there anything in particular that stands out to you that's kind of special? I'm assuming some stuff from fans, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I've got this beautiful picture yeah. that someone uh, gave me at the stage door and they were just actually out at the uh, the 35th anniversary and they're like, do you remember me? I, I made that picture. I said, is the one where I'm doing this? And they said, yes, that's it. We've got this from Squigs, the artist. Yeah. Um, our incredible Greg Mills, one of our super swings in the show, he took this photo of me, which is just so incredibly cool. That's beautiful. Um, so I have some toys around the dressing room, which I, are, I did when, I, that. You know, when I FaceTime my kiddos, we, we play, um, and my son is really into dinosaurs right now, and uh, someone just recently sent me this little dinosaur who's dressed as the Phantom. <laughs> I mean, just like really, really neat oh, that's little mementos that I that's get great. from people. You know, the, a lot of people are just so kind and appreciative of, of what we do here at the theater, and you get stuff like that, and you're just like, this is really, really cool. When was the first time you saw Phantom, actually? Um, gosh, it was probably around 2014, I think. Okay. And I was actually auditioning for the show. I was auditioning for one of the managers, so I decided I should probably see it. So I came and saw Hugh Panero perform as the Phantom, and mm -hmm. he was awesome, and now he's actually a friend of mine. All right, who do we have here? This is Ruthie Too, mm -hmm. and uh, she is named after Hal Prince's assistant director. She is uh, pretty awesome. She comes down every night uh, right before intermission, and I have had the uh, privilege of sitting in these seats oh, wow. during a, during a put-in rehearsal yeah. and have looked up and watched her drop down and then swoop over the audience. It's one of the coolest experiences because you're like, is this, is, this is gonna move, right? Or am I, am I done for? I, I don't know. 
Um, it's an amazing to just to sit down here and be able to experience that, I think, in, in, in a Broadway show as well. It's just like a really cool moment.